people good after know everybody as you guys know i've been battling with covid trying to get myself together um i can't go back and comment to each and every one of y'all who's leaving me comments but thank y'all for the prayers and thank you for the nice words that you guys are leaving on the comments thank you for still being a supporter to my youtube channel <coughs> and just at a time like this i just you know want everybody to know there's only two things that's promised to us in this life is living and dying and people don't want to talk about those two living and dying those are the two things that's promised to us on this earth we shall go back to ashes to dust you understand that's everybody it don't matter what color you are what race where you're from who you are what you believe in we all have a destination we just don't know when, excuse me, that destination is gonna be for us to check off this earth. Now I'm gonna tell you this, and I'm gonna tell you this because nobody else probably haven't said it. Nothing's promised in this life that we're living, but living, meaning babies to be born, and us to go and die. As sure as somebody's coming in to be born, someone's going out to be going laid in to rest. And I don't want people to think that life is just promised to us because it's not. Life is precious. So, so enjoy your life while you're here on the earth. And God give you strength to be here or whoever you pray to, or whatever you believe in, because I don't want it to offend anybody if they don't believe in God. Lord, you're saved. You know, I believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You know, if, if they don't believe in whatever they don't believe in, that's their belief. I don't care. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just giving it to you. I don't care. I don't want nobody to say nothing to me about religion. So don't, don't, don't drop a comment and don't say nothing about it to me. About religion, I don't care what your religion is. I'm, I'm being honest. Give me my part. Give me my, my wallet. Um, I don't care what your religion is. I'm, I'm being honest. So, with that being said, hold this thought. I um just want you to know, ain't nothing promised on this earth. Um. Nothing promise on this earth. Nothing. Nothing's promised. So don't think it is. Thank you. Let me get a big straw. Thank you. Here you go. Um I wanna say this because some people may misinterpret your words or put put the words in their own press, you know, press back. This is my feeling. Love you. Love while you can love. Live your life while you can. Respect one another. Believe in yourself. Know that I love you. Even if I don't get up and post and tell y'all I love y'all. I still love y'all, but I'm fighting COVID. <coughs> and I've been really sick. Then on top of me having COVID, my mom passed on August the 29th. <coughs> and the cause of her death was COVID. Hey, as we talking about it, my mom did get her shot. 
My mom was 58 years old. My mom had her second shot, which was supposed to be the booster. Then my mom caught pneumonia. My mom went back to the hospital. They gave her another shot. I'm not quite sure what was the second shot of the booster, but I'm gonna find out. So, as you know, we has lost a lot of people to COVID. COVID has claimed a lot of, of our loved ones' life. Now tell me, why are we still having people die from COVID if they're providing all this medication? <coughs> still passing away see this is what I want to know <clears throat> okay you want people to get the shot they are getting it and they still passing away you want them to get the boosters they getting it and they still die so what next now see I don't lost my mother <laughs> and I'm lost for words and I need answers. And that's for the president. That's for the government. That's for the science. That's for the people who are injecting us with the medicine. If this medicine is supposed to save our life, why are we losing so many people still after they don't have the shot? That's my question today. And then also, if I don't comment don't mean I'm not reading your messages. It's just too much for me to text back and forth. It's taking a lot of energy. COVID, COVID gives you this cough. <coughs> <coughs> See, I'm asthmatic. So I have this cough. so much a cold I haven't been able to eat since last Friday <clears throat> sad part about it is on the 28th my uncle in Savannah he died his name was Anthony he died on the 28th in Savannah, Georgia. I was supposed to be going to Georgia Sunday. I never knew my mom was going to pass away. We talked on the phone all day Sunday. She told me she was going to call me back after she get done cutting up some bell peppers. Well, I hang up. I go to Popeye's Chicken. Come back home. Get upstairs. Get a phone call saying your mom on the porch is dead. She probably locked up for about 15 minutes. She was gonna call me back. Now at this point, I'm just lost for words, y'all. And no, I haven't been posting because YouTube was also giving me a hard time with people just reporting stupid stuff. And I haven't been able to get paid because they put like a little strike on my YouTube page. So I kind of got tired of the little drama with people just being jealous and reporting on YouTube because they're bitter inside. So I just wanna tell y'all thank you for everybody who's leaving me comments. I, I re I'm reading them, but don't think for once I'm not and this is for everybody thank you for the prayer and know it don't get easy when you lose a loved one especially when you lose your mother someone you was real close to I was really close to my mother I had a good relationship with her over everything no matter what So, I just wanted to get on here and say thank you 
for the prayers and all the concerns and all the love and continue to pray for me as I get through this COVID because it ain't no joke. <coughs> so, with due time, I'll get back to myself. Right now, I need some healing. I need some people just to pray for my health, pray for my strength, pray for my children. I just lost my mama and I just wanna grieve. I just wanna grieve. I don't wanna do anything else but just grieve right now. If I wanna lay in my bed and cry every day, every second, that's what I wanna do at this moment, y'all. I just wanna cry, cry out for my mother. Cause I want my mama and I can't get a bite. But I want y'all to know, I'm gonna be strong for myself. Cause I still got my children. I have to get up and take care of. So I'm trying, I'm trying to get better. So just pray for me. And I love y'all. I want y'all to have a beautiful Sunday and take my message. Love while you can love on this earth. Respect your parents while you can, if you got parents. If you're going through it with somebody, let it go. Put it in God's hand. Pray about it. You don't have to hold no grudge. God will be your salvation. He'll be your provider. He'll be your rock. He'll be your strength. And just keep me in prayer. And know this thing called death something that everybody got to go through we just don't know when so love your neighbors have a beautiful Sunday and please don't judge somebody before you judge yourself don't be negative about nobody until you see about yourself get a mirror and look at it and ask yourself, ask yourself, God, am I right with myself? God, if I'm not, cleanse me, God. Change me, oh God. Make me more like you. Lord, forgive me for my sins I may have committed if I don't know. Forgive me for any sin I may have committed towards somebody else that I don't know. But continue to watch over me because I want God to save me like only he can. He's my rock and my salvation. Who should I fear? The Lord is my rock and my salvation. Who should I fear? Who should I be afraid? I will wait on you, Lord. I will trust you. I will fear no one. For God will anoint my head with oil, blood running through my body. He will shield me from my enemy. God would make my enemy my footstep. So I say, order my steps in your word, Lord. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. No weapon formed against my children shall prosper. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for that you have your way. Continue to watch over me and my loved ones, my children. Watch over my father and my stepmothers and my aunt as they travel back from Georgia to make it back to Tampa. Cover my family, my immediate family here. And as my mother laid to rest and her soul is at peace, I say thank you for the life you gave her God on this earth. I don't want anything for nobody. I'm not looking for a pity party. Simply pray for me. If you can't do nothing or have nothing nice to say about me, don't say nothing at all. Keep your comments to yourself. I ask God to work on you. So guess what? I'm at peace with my soul. Have a beautiful Sunday. May God bless y'all. Love one another. Know that ain't nothing promised to us but death and be born. Have a good day. Don't forget, I love you. Goodbye.